Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE. Covering IBM World of Watson 2016. Brought to you by IBM. Here's your host, John Furrier. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center for the IBM World of Watson show, exclusive coverage from SiliconANGLE Media. The Cube, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signals from noise. My next guest is George Davis, Creative Director and CEO of Quest Digital Interactive. That's cdinteractive.com. Talking about the future of television. Really interesting and super exciting um, scenario here that we're going to talk about. George, welcome to The Cube. Great to see you. Thanks oh, for coming on. Okay. Uh, it's QD Interactive. What did I say? Q. I don't know. I said QD Interactive. <laughs> Get another plug. Yeah. QD I, Interactive. interactive. We'll don't ever plug. forget. Right. Great to uh, see you. Yeah, Thanks I'm for coming in on. in so many places that I get confused too. And so I no, have some No, an extra plug here. always helps. <laughs> you know, rep repetition, <laughs> frequency. Yeah, to tell you what we do. We invented a uh, method to build software systems that allow artificial intelligence to insert interactivity into the storylines of a TV drama series. So give an example. It's not an ad, so I mean, ad insertion is great, but again, TV is lean back, got the clicker, but now we have the internet. You're seeing this the cord cutters out there, going, you got Netflix, you got Amazon going on, crazy. What, give me an example of how it works. Uh, let's call it participatory TV. You have a person in a TV who's facing a crisis and you can actually get in there as a viewer, become a player, because each interactivity is like a uh, game module and you can play and actually intervene in the story in ways that get more and more complex as your AI is complex. So this is gamification meets TV. Gamification, a marriage of a cognitive, let me think of one of my little cue lines. <laughs> a marriage of cognitive computing and television drama or popular entertainment, we call it that. You're a pioneer, so you, I love this conversation because what you're doing is really hard. Okay, but you're also, on your title, creative director slash CEO, which means chief executive officer, you run the company, but also the creative director is also the key part. Explain the role of the creative aspect of this, because this is a fundamental. Okay, we take an overview, I do, that's my job. Then we have people, if you write to the site and you want to find out more information on the business side of it, how does it, or how it generates revenue, how you, you can generate revenue with it we have people who can get back to you on that. What I'm giving is a broad concept of something that's very new that uh, can revolutionize television itself. Because for a long time, for about three decades, uh, television spent billions of dollars trying to get true interactivity. That is, interactivity in which you can interact with the story itself. It tried to converge the machine and the machines have already converged because you have streaming now, which means your computer and your television uh, set can be the same thing. So, when you have a convergence like that, yeah. what you have to do is converge the content. What we have is a software system that converges the content. So the example would be, just in kind of putting my geek hat on, you got this cognitive engine with uh, AI, mm -hmm. that understands at a large hyper, uh, computing scale that it could generate scenarios in the content. So I jump into the content, I'm and then relying on AI to adjust the story based upon my interactions. Right. So in essence, I'm changing the story yeah, based you're, upon my you're, participation you're to get that right. You're interacting with the story. Let me give you an example of what we're doing for uh, the people at IBM Series Game and Gamification. We're doing a show called, producing a show called Saving the Planet, a TV series and computer game to fight climate change. Okay, we have a lot of data on climate change. We know it's a bad thing. You can't really get people to do anything about it because it's so difficult. Yeah. But suppose you have a story. Stories are better than facts. For example, we know or all the Or jumping into a big piece of data, all this data you're swimming yeah, through. Yeah, and people don't remember. I can't even remember the CO2 level that is this, that, the other. But suppose in a story you have a kid running down a hill. The kid falls down, can barely breathe. And your game challenge is to get that kid up off the ground. And in learning what you need to do as fast as you can to get that kid breathing again, you have had some what we might call tacit knowledge. 
deeper yeah. understanding of the yeah. respiratory The immersion problems. of the situation and the story mm -hmm. puts you in a readiness position to get boned up on whatever you need to do at problem solving. Yeah, you solve and you have problem. to do it fast so it becomes tacit knowledge. Yeah, this is incredible. So what I love about this too is it plays beautifully into virtual reality, where augmented reality is going, computer generated graphics. Um, you can almost envision this being standard quickly. Uh, that's what we're Okay, open. so throw the dart at the board because it feels like you're, this is, I have no clue on how fast this is going to emerge. Your thoughts on how early is this? Um, how would you see the progress accelerating? What are some of the things that need to happen? We're going to start building a prototype in January. We should be finished with a demo of prototype by uh, June 30th. I was down in Los Angeles just now talking to the people who are going to do the television series because in order to make it work, you have to have a hit television series because not only is it the audience aggregator, it is the emotional involvement. The involvement of emotion is decision making more than fact. People make decisions based more on emotion. The kid coming, uh, falling down. So they have to be connected you, you, to, the, to the actual content. Yeah. So connections are key. Emotional, co uh, Emotional connections, connection. entangled with the content. And so uh, people will, okay, suppose the kid is on the ground, you have to figure some things out. Maybe there is um, traffic jams somewhere around and the air has gotten polluted with that. And so you might figure all of that out. What it does is it creates what's called persuasive technology. Once you've done something to figure out how to solve the problem, it becomes your tacit knowledge. So the next time you're in a traffic jam, you might think, it'll change your behavior, you might turn off your ignition. Not because of CO2 levels, but because of the kid who fell to the ground, yeah. and you got that kid You up. can start to get mind share around the impact of what that could do. That's it. Okay, so what are some of the cool tech that, that's involved? Is there anything you'd like to share around some of the technology, what, and also, what are some of the hurdles that you're, that you're going through? Being a, being a pioneer, you have to you know, skin let me your think knee. Of some, uh, let me tell you about something that uh, happened here. I talked to the people over at Visual Recognition, right? Suppose you have a drama, it could be Law & Order, it could be any of those, and there's a creepy guy there. You can touch his face in the uh, screen, and it can bring up a game that can actually get you involved with who that creepy guy is. What is he doing? And so you actually then know more than the person in the story, mm -hmm. right? And so as the story proceeds, you know whether this guy's armed, you know whether this guy's this. So it increases your suspense. It increases a lot of things. That's just an example of how you can uh, deepen the engagement. Okay. There is also the uh, revenue part because you can't have anything yeah, without yeah. revenue. Here's the revenue. Suppose uh, the camera. The revenue is the studios to pay you. <laughs> big cash. Come on, put a big bag of money. Because yeah. the, the way it works is you get the big bag of money from the studio, you go over your budget, and then you get more budget, and then they get so out over the limb that they right, you know, right. have to do we, a trailer, and next thing you know, it's out in the theater. No. We, we have a pending uh, meeting with Amazon, right? Suppose in this story, a woman's wearing a certain kind of shoe. You can tap the screen, that shoe goes to your profile. And then when the show is over, you can go to your profile, look at it, make yeah. a decision on whether you want to buy That's low-hanging fruit buy right it. there. Yeah. E-commerce. Right. And, but then when you get, might be an automobile that's being driven in the product placement taken to a another level. AI level. Yeah, and then almost the immersion of being in the, in the car, pushing the buttons. All right, so I got to ask you the question about the, um, the creative side, because this is fascinating. So we do the queue, we're live here at Mandalay Bay, we get the whole set here. And it's just boring streaming, or we're not boring, we're, we're good. Um, but it's just, it's, just, it's just a video signal. So right. imagine that we wanted to bring in like some computer generated action or some into, the, into, into, the, into this stream right now. Imagine that we're implementing future of TV, which we are, because we're not on cable, mm -hmm. it's all nonlinear, it's all everywhere. I want to add more oomph to it, because I want interaction, I want people to okay, say. Okay, suppose uh, we talk about our software system in this way, and somebody's watching the stream, they uh, do something, and they say, that guy Davis, 
He doesn't know what he's talking about, yeah. right? <laughs> he's a handsome guy. That furry guy, he's so full of it. Uh, well, they, they know can, that already, so they, I get that can, on Twitter. They can interact. They yeah. can interact in other ways. They can bring in other data. That data can go to people's profile, or it can appear in the show itself. Yeah. Uh, and you have the ability to communicate with people around all yeah. the issues that we're talking about. Interactive TV You want to bring the guests in, too. Like For us, we're kind of like a talk, talk show, but I want interactivity. I want to have someone stop me and say, oh, whoa, whoa I got yeah, I want wait, to ask George wait, a question. Wait, wait, yeah, uh, that sort of thing. That's why we say the future of television is almost here. Interactive television is the future. They tried to make it come along when they tried to converge the machines. Yeah. But the machines got converged anyway. Streaming did it. And now a computer and a TV set are converged. Yeah, and more horsepower is available on the computing side. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you go to Amazon, for instance, they got a huge cloud, or IBM's got a cloud. You can imagine that any kind of hurdle with technology kind of mm -hmm. goes away, you just spin up a supercomputer. And with AI, you have more interactivity because we had static interactivity before yeah. AI. But now you can have almost any kind of um, uh, interactivity that a programmer, AI programmer, can dream up. The way our system works is that the programmer and the TV script writer work together. It's like an agile software development mo yeah. project. Yeah, that's so the new, it's not a, it's not the waterfall old way. People will scrum together and kind of be in an agile format. Yeah, yeah and so the team, I got some uh, guys there from Argentina, IBM Argentina is going to work on a uh, little Echo game. The Echo games are games inside the Saving the Planet thing, where you have um, a uh, Echo game might be respiratory, the little kid. Mm -hmm. That is the echo game on respiratory. There could be one on clean drinking water. AI would decide when to insert those into the storyline, and you just touch your screen, you go into the gamification that AI puts up there for you, and uh, you're able to participate in the story. George, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE and sharing the answers. Super exciting. Um, What's next? Final question, what's next for you? What are you going to do next? You're going to go get talk to Amazon? What's your next meeting? What's the next milestone? What's going to... What, what are you going to do? We're going to start to build this thing and I have to get back to writing because writing the story, you have to have a hit. Yeah. And I've been in the writing business for a long time. It started back in the 1960s with a novel called Coming Home that Jane Fonda made a film. Uh, you're a little too young yeah. to know that. <laughs> I think I saw it on syndication. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, that's where I started. I started a novel that's based on, I got to get back to writing because that's what yeah. I really want to do. Because- Are you going to ship the IBM prototype, right, in June? Uh, that's coming. We're going we're gonna to have a uh, prototype by then. And what we're uh, looking forward to is working closely with IBM for them to do some of that because IBM is the best market uh, business to business. Well, this I think whatever you do in your store, my, well, not that I'm going to give you any advice, you're, you're a genius writer. Um, is genius writer. I would, well, you've been, you got to get <laughs> movie made after your, after your book. I mean, I don't have any of that uh, yet. Um, I'll get a book out there soon. Is, um, the weather channel angle is huge. So you got to get weather in the storyline somehow. Yeah. Hurricane, okay, tornado. Okay, let me tell you something about that. That's you know, why IBM is such a good match for us. They have 80 million subscribers. Yeah. If you can do a streamer for something like this with 80 million subscribers, a good yeah. story streamer. Yeah. We're going to work together on the weather project because I think you get weather in there, you can got hurricanes, you got tornadoes, you got weather patterns, a lot of learning, and they have the data. Yeah. So you can bring that Watson mojo in. George, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate it. Good to see you. Thanks for coming on, sharing your story. Future of television is almost here. QDinteractive.com. I'm John Furrier. We'll be right back with more live coverage. And Ginny keynote is coming up at one o'clock. More after this short break. <laughs>